You always see features like Gore-Tex, DWR, and 15K when you're shopping for new outdoor clothes, but what do those features even mean? My name is Lauren, and today I'm going to explain the basics of waterproof fabrics so you can understand all the features that are available to you. First things first, technically no fabric is 100% waterproof. With enough pressure, eventually water will push through any fabric. So the key is finding something that's waterproof enough for your climate, but also has enough other features like breathability that are appropriate for how active you plan to be next season. Let's start with Gore-Tex. In 1969, Bob Gore stretched polytetrafluoroethylene, or PTFE, into a thin film, and he discovered that the pores were 20,000 times smaller than water droplets, but 700 times larger than molecules of water when in the vapor phase. This discovery meant that the film blocked liquid, like snow and rain, but still allowed water vapor, like sweat, to pass through. This breathability combined with extreme weather protection is what made Gore-Tex famous and ultimately changed the way people shop for outdoor clothing. Gore-Tex is the actual membrane of the fabric, and since the 70s, many other companies have engineered their own versions of the membrane. In addition to the membrane, most brands will apply a DWR treatment to the outer layer of a waterproof fabric. DWR stands for Durable Water Repellent, and this treatment is what actually causes the water to beat up and roll off the fabric. The DWR treatment will wear off over time, so if you start to notice that the water no longer beads up on your garment, you can reapply the coating with a wash-in or a spray-on DWR product. Tape seams are another very important part of waterproofing. When traditional seams are sewn, needles puncture the fabric and create weak points where water is more likely to sneak through. To eliminate those weak points, tape is melted over the seams to seal off the holes. If it says critically taped seams, that means the exposed areas like the shoulders, the hood, the neck, and the chest have all been taped, but the other seams have not. Fully taped seam means that every seam on the garment has been taped to seal off every weak point. This will be more weatherproof, but it's also generally more expensive. If you've ever seen 10K or 20K ratings, that number refers to how waterproof the fabric is. Waterproof ratings can be a bit relative because different manufacturers use different rating systems, but the most common waterproof test is called the static column test. To test waterproofness, a one inch tube is placed over the fabric and filled with water. The rating refers to the height in millimeters that you can fill the tube to with water before the water begins to leak through the fabric. For example, if a jacket's fabric has a waterproof rating of 20K or 20,000 millimeters, that means the fabric did not leak until 20,000 millimeters of water pressure was stacked above it. Basically, the higher the number, the more extreme weather it can withstand. Here are some general guidelines for skiers. 5K means the fabric is water resistant, but not when the fabric is under pressure. So with a 5K rating, you'd stay dry during a light rain or a light snowfall. 5 to 20K fabrics are considered waterproof because they will stop water from getting through unless there's significant pressure. A light backpack wouldn't be too much pressure for these fabrics, but if you were to wear a heavy backpack in the snow, you might start to see water penetrate the fabric over time. Anything over 20K will stay dry even under significant pressure, which is ideal in areas like the Pacific Northwest where heavy, wet rain is common. Gore-Tex doesn't use waterproof ratings like this. Instead, they just guarantee you'll stay dry. Often, you'll see a waterproof rating followed by a breathability rating. A 20K, 20K fabric, is water resistant up to 20,000 millimeters of pressure and also allows 20,000 grams of water vapor to pass through a square meter of the fabric in a 24 hour period. There are a lot of ways to test breathability, so it's not always standard between brands, but generally you can know that the higher the number, the more breathable the fabric is. Breathable fabric is especially important if you're more active because when you're hiking in the resort or touring in the backcountry, you'll need the fabric to release the moisture and heat that builds up between your body and the fabric. So today I've covered most of the basics on waterproof fabric, but as always, if you have any questions, just give us a call at the shop.